Hi yogis, let's get started right away on our backs into Shavasana. So just come to lying down on your back, make yourself nice and comfortable. Remove any tension out of your face, out of your body, and simply allow your body to absorb lightness. Anxiety requires heaviness. That is some heavy stuff, so Feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter, removing that weight. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a big exhale out of your mouth. Nice, now bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet to touch. Butterfly your knees open, place your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your belly. Unlocking your hips. Take a moment to feel the pulse of your heart beating. Then grab for your knees, close your knees like a book and send both of your knees to the right as you turn your head to the left. So this requires a deep twist. Be sure that both of your shoulders are still down on your mat. Just have your head and your knees in two opposite directions. So use your core to bring your knees back to center and keep going. Drop them to the left as you send your gaze to the right. When you're ready, bring both of your knees back to center and then send them into your chest. We'll take a few rock and rolls, find the momentum to have a seat up on your butt. I'm just gonna change my direction so you can see me better. Now plant your right palm down and grab for your head with your left hand and then gaze down and then gaze up so you'll get all the angles of the entire right side of your neck, your shoulders, all that tension that we carry there, the stress. Take a moment to stretch it all out and even out your body, swap it out. Gaze down, then gaze up and then come back to just a neutral, easy pose whenever you are ready for it. Just taking a moment to self-massage here. Now swing your legs back behind you and come into a tabletop position. We'll take some cat-cows, warm up the spine. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose, dome your spine. Take a couple more on your own, then we'll go into downward facing dog right away. Inhale, tuck your toes in. Exhale, downward facing dog. You're welcome to bend your knees if you need to. And then when you're ready, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, rag dog pose. Walk your feet behind your wrists. Take a moment to enjoy this flush. Let your head hang heavy. Grab for opposite elbows. Swing from left to right. Be sure that the weight is shifted into your toes so that you feel this all the way from your tailbone all the way down to the crown of your head. On your exhale, release your fingertips down to your mat and bring your feet together to touch. Take another deep inhale. Slowly uncurl all the way up to standing with your head arriving last. Keep going with your arms, big inhale, bring your palms to touch over your head. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Samastitihi, stand at attention. Close your eyes. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Anything that inspires you or a goal that you may have, and then seal that intention with a big inhale through your nose. And a big exhale out of your mouth. And we will begin Sun Salutation A. 
Take a deep inhale, lift your arms up nice and high. Exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. Bend your knees and reach your arms back behind you. Inhale, baby back bend. Expose your heart, cactus your arms, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge forward, gaze back behind you. Inhale, halfway lift to reset your spine, create a flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, plant your palms, step your feet back. You're welcome to bend your knees and take them down. Fire up your core. Inhale, upward facing dog. Come onto the tops of your feet, roll your shoulders back, expose your heart, gaze forward or up. Exhale, tuck your toes in, shoot your hips up and back, downward facing dog. We'll fold that again, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, chair pose with airplane arms, bend your knees. Inhale, baby back bend. Expose your heart, open up, cactus your arms, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge forward. Stack your hips over your heels. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, Chaturanga Nadasana. This is how it looks with your knees coming down. Completely your option, whichever way you'd like to take it. This is just a lower impact. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra with your knees down like this. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's keep flowing. Remember your intention. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Reach your arms up high. Exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. Inhale, baby back bend open. Create space. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your palms, take your variation. Inhale, upward facing dog. This time, exhale, child's pose. Separate your knees, bring your big toes to touch. Send your hips back. Bow your forehead down on the earth and breathe. So rise to a tabletop position and we will detox, add a little rinse. So inhale, lift your right arm, add some wrist rolls, big inhale. Exhale, thread the needle, slide your right arm through. Option to take a bind with your left hand, grab for your right hip for a deeper twist. Bringing out the heaviness and what does not serve you. When you've had enough, you can Unthread your needle. Inhale, lift your right arm. Exhale, back to tabletop. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lift your left arm. Add some wrist rolls. Exhale, thread the needle. Slide your left arm through. If you took that bind on the other side, even out your body, take it on this side as well. We will exit this pose, inhale, lift your left arm back up, exhale, table tap. So now prepare for high plank, tuck your toes in, have your shoulders, hips, heels all in one line. Just really quick, activate that core, have a boost of energy for four, three, lower down in two, and one, lower all the way down to your belly and set yourself up for floor bow. So bend your knees, reach back and grab for your ankles, kick up into your hands. Inhale, floor bow for four, three, two, and one. Release and relax on your favorite cheek. Have your arms by your sides with your palms facing up. Breathe. Bring your chin back to center and use your palms to press yourself back up 
and make your way onto your seat with your legs extended out long. Sit up nice and tall, inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, seated, forward fold. As always, you can have bent knees wherever your fingers may lie. Inhale, come back up and exhale, lie all the way down, keep going. You may need to scoot up a little bit to stay on your mat. And extend your right leg long up the wall and we'll take a supine big toe pose. So use your right piece fingers, grab for your big toe, bring your leg as close to you as possible and then open up. Have your right footprint to face your side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, swap out your legs. Use your left piece fingers. Grab for your left big toe. Work out that hamstring. Get it nice and flexible. Bring it close to you. And then open up, sending your leg out. Bring your leg back to center. Now bring both knees into your chest. Wind removing pose. Big inhale, squeeze. Exhale, just how we started. Shavasana. Take up all the space you need. Again, feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter. Every exhale is letting go of any heaviness that you may be holding on to. And I will see you in the next class. You can stay here as long as you'd like. Namaste.